So this is the final product, the solar cooker. It's rather simple to make. Step one, we take a simple box. Step two, we put a dark foundation, any kind of paper, dark black or anything similar. Step four, we take glass that will keep conserve heat within the box. Step five, we take the rest of the box, what, so what's left from the box, and then we cover it in, again, reflective paper. Hi, so I attended this solar barbecue workshop, and here we have a solar cooker, which we made, uh, and it works under the principle of the greenhouse effect. So the light is going to hit onto this reflective surface and then bounce off down here, where we have a glass casing, and it's going to go through the glass and be uh, converted into heat, which can't escape because we have this glass barrier on top. And that's what essentially heats up the box and will co cook the food. So we're just finishing up this parabolic solar barbecue. This functions in a way that the sun rays get actually connected and reflected towards, converged into one single point which then serves the purpose as, for example, your electric cooker that you have at home. So it heats up the, the, the surface underneath the pot or pan, whichever you use, and that helps heating up the food. So that's it for today, folks. Thank you to everybody who participated in making these solar barbecues. We'll see you next time when we actually go to barbecue stuff, where we'll crisp things up. See you guys. So, the results of this experiment clearly show that to cook something with a solar cooker, you need the sun. <laughs>